Hello, respected viewers. It's George from Ireland, and as I'm sure you can tell from this uh, renowned skyline, I am in Tbilisi. That is the presidential palace up on the hill, that domed building. Unfortunately, it's an exceptionally rainy day, so visibility is poor. But it's going to be like this all day, so there's little sense of waiting for the weather to clear up. Here I am on the Peace Bridge, and by the way, the occupant of that presidential palace, Salome, can't remember her surname. Is it Zurabashvili? She's a French Georgian, as in born in France to, to Georgian parents, was a French diplomat, retired from that, returned to Georgia, and her acquirement of Georgian citizenship entitled her to stand for the presidency. So she's the current incumbent, is an outspoken Europhile, um, and uh, Georgia's applied for European Union candidate member status, hasn't got it. There's a European Union and NATO information centre here. Of course, they had a long-running dispute with Russia. In 1991, the second Georgian Republic was founded, as in the country became independent from the Soviet Union. Um, but then Abkhazia and South Ossetia rebelled, um, and uh, Russian troops moved in there. They claim as peacekeepers, the Georgians say invaders, peacekeepers come to the United Nations. They broke away Abkhazia and South Ossetia, and, and, and um, Georgia says, claims they're Georgian sovereign territory, but Russia says, um, no, we recognize them as independent countries. It's a bit noisy, they got this industrial cleaner up the other end, but of course, um, the sound is reverberating off the water on the roads. Okay, so here you can see the, the river that bisects um, the city. What else do I say? I mean, more of the old city is that way. You can see there, the steep mountains come down into uh, down to the city center very abruptly. So it's, it's quite a center of tourism. And unlike most former Soviet cities, the old city is very well preserved. It's not in a good state of repair, but the Soviet tendency was just to level things and rebuild, and they haven't done that. Wonderfully, it's very historic. It's got that raffish, raffish charm Tennessee Williams wrote about in, um, in uh, my goodness, I can't remember the, this famous play, you know, uh, the one set in New Orleans, but it'll come to me. Um, okay, so, and then, up in this mountain you see that old fortress uh, and there's a cable car to get there people saying gondola lift and look there's the mother Georgia statue on the hill probably can't really make it out and so on Matat Sind I think is the name of the mountain then there's some sort of recreation area you can get the funicular up there um, what can I say there's so much um, else to see it's a city of 1.2 million people which is about 25% of the population of the country quite a few casinos because um, they allow casinos, whereas Russia doesn't, Azerbaijan doesn't, I don't think Armenia or Turkey do, that's all their neighbours. There's some Turks coming here to gamble, a few Russian tourists around, you can get boat trips on the river, but there are no takers at the moment. Um, oh yeah, that is a hot air balloon. I thought, what is that huge photo thing? Is it one of God's golf balls? Is it one of those things for um, communications or whatever, or radar or something? I don't know anything about technology. So I have been over to this side of the river, which is the north side of the city, if memory serves. And the, the, the Tbilisi Sea is this side, actually a lake, which is well outside the city, as well as the airport. And the main railway station is this way. Um, because when they put the, put the railway here in the mid-19th century, this place was too built up, as well as um, too hilly. Almost everything's built on a slope. So very difficult to build a railway station there. Quite a few Indian tourists here. I discovered do need these to come here. I thought they didn't. Um, so things about a quarter of the price of what they would be in mm. Ireland um, or, or Great Britain. So loads of signs in English up, and um, sometimes people get a bad reaction. They speak Russian. There are a few signs in Russian up. No, no official signs in Russian. They'd be vandalised if they were. So it's occasionally some anti-Russian graffiti. Another look at the presidential palace. Anyway, the peace bridge with these um, curious geometric shapes. So you don't get wet when you're going across it. But the trouble about that is then, you know, beggars come and uh, loiter there. So do see a few beggars, especially outside churches, inside churches, went to that more modern cathedral up the hill. It was only built 20 years ago, but they don't know a very historical, historic style. I saw that yesterday, so very well done. Ah, you can see the gondola lifts are going. Cable cars, why not? There's a 94 meter rise. It's only about a three minute journey, and I've been up there. But um, it costs quite a lot, is it 20 lari to return? Likewise, the funicular is quite a lot, actually. I wonder if Georgians pay a lower price. And then on top of that, Matatsinda Mountain, there is like um, a petting zoo, and there's uh, one of those big Ferris wheels, 
and various rides. There will be activities like basketball or whatever, but this time of year there aren't many people. Um, so it's a real hub for digital nomads because if you're a European citizen you can come here for a year without a visa. Speaking to a German chap who did that and then a visa run, just take the train overnight to um, Armenia and come back the next day, you've got yourself another year. This is quite affordable. He said, uh, you know, opening a bank account is really easy here, even if you're on a um, tourist visa. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So they're quite into learning yeah, English or other languages because, of course, nobody learns their language. But to I mean, almost everybody over their 40 speaks Russian, often fluently. Um, usually Russian is not taught in schools anymore. Um, so, but obviously some Georgians still go, go, going to work in Russia because, you know, it's not a wealthy country. It doesn't have any precious natural resources as in no oil, no gas, no coal, no gold, silver, diamonds, platinum, hardly any metals. It's so mountainous, it's not terribly suitable for farming. So what have they got? Tourism, trying to build up financial services. And um, there are loads of these lovely um, wooden houses with balconies, very individual over there. And then you see this ancient church across the river. That one dates back to 1675. Um, um, so lots of parks and open spaces and, and twisty streets. Um, so that was the walled city over there. And part of the city wall still exists. And that is tourism central in the whole of Georgia. We can get um, tours around the country. It's not a very large country. It's about the size of Ireland, but it takes longer to get around because, you know, it's um, uh, got so many ranges of mountains and they're often rather steep. So quite verdant, but a very rocky country. Always there's a Black Sea coast, Batumi, is the main port there, Porti, but they've obviously they've lost on the Black Sea coast to Abkhazia. And maybe the Abkhazians are a separate ethnic group who broke away. So I know the argument is, well, wait a second, if Georgians, if to manifest your collective individuality, you have the right to secede from the Soviet Union, surely so do the Abkhazians, the South Ossetians, who are virtually identical to the North Ossetians, because Comrade Stalin, in his infinite unwisdom, he decided to allot South Ossetia to, to um, um, the Georgian Soviet Socialist Republic and North Ossetia to the Russian Socialist Federative Republic. Um, so when independent ca independence came, North Ossetia was in um, Russia, where South Ossetia was in Georgia. Now the Ossetians are a distinct e e ethnic group with their own language, which bizarrely is most closely related to Pashta, a language that you find um, in uh, um, um, the eastern side of Afghanistan and the northwest of Pakistan, the Khyber Pukhtunkhwala, even though they're very far away. Um, at the far side of Iran from them, and uh, the, the um, Ossetians are, uh, uh, are, are Christians. So, yeah, the North Ossetians and South Ossetians, there is no distinctive difference between them. They are, um, it's just an accent, that's the only difference. Look at the hot air balloon, might even go up on that. See loads of places offering Thai massages, uh, and so might go for one of those. The thing is, if you're in Thailand, if you went for a massage, you'd be deeply disappointed to receive an actual massage. Okay, so if I turn around there, you see the Peace Bridge. I was in Baku some time ago, well, years ago, and I came here for one weekend a long time ago, and Mikhail Saakashvili was still president here. Oh yeah, then you can see that mountain shrouded in mist, like mighty Sinai. With a naked eye, I can work, work out where the funicular is, uh, which I went uh, up yesterday, but um, it will brighten up. But I've got to go out of um, Tbilisi, see um, other small towns here. Yeah, it's a country of only five million people, so warmly recommended but coming here from Ireland or Great Britain there are no direct flights go via Turkey usually there's Georgian Airways flies to several other countries um, yeah so renowned for its uh, magnificent cuisine and red wine uh, and yeah its musicality as well so thank you so much for watching my video make sure you subscribe and on patreon donate on PayPal George Callahan 79 at gmail.com right toodle pip everyone